All right, you two land. How y'all doing today? Yo, we're going to talk about this topic right now. This gets on my nerves right here. Yeah, <laughs> all right. These people with the OIEBA, UBA, and all these other so called registries with this old English bulldoggy with this cut tail and these scroots tail. It's got to stop. This is not an old English bulldoggy. Old English bulldoggy was a type of dog like American bulldog, a Lapaha blue blooded bulldog type of dog. It was a working bulldog to better the English bulldog. An American bulldog crossed to an English is not oldie. I don't care what you say, that's not oldie. But with these short, big English bulldogs and they register them as oldie English bulldoggies, buyers beware. Real talk on that one. Yeah, I know people used to hate on me back in 2005, lied on me, and, but I'm still doing what I'm doing, trying to help the community, help young people, and I'm going to keep on doing this. But back to the subject. Yo, people think a OD English Bulldoggy is this short, little bit medium sized, big, with a cut tail like a box across but it's not old English bulldoggy have a tail has a long tail stand to his crotch like a pit bull a real pit bull like American bully like these new American bullies like like American bulldog like a Lapaha bulldog the tail is for balance it needs it. It's a fault when you have Scrooge tail, little, little short, little long, little short tail, or you have a kink in the tail. That's not you. You you, you don't supposed to breed that. Real breeders would not put that in a breeding program. They wouldn't take that and and throw that in a breeding program because it's a fault in the original standard. An original standard who has it. Is L B A O R E B A and O B K C, I think it is. Them are the original standard of the oldie English Bulldoggy. Now, people, don't get me wrong, I'm not a, I, I could say. I'm a little bit of expert because I've been in this breed for a long time, but I'm not highly an uh, expert. But you could take that on my note. Like, these people <laughs> got to stop it. Keep it real. Keep it 100%. Tell people, yeah, this is my um, idea of a, a better English bulldog because that's what y'all have. Y'all have a bigger English bulldog or a healthy type of bulldog. Because when you cross American to an English, you just got a bigger type of bulldog, really. But you didn't do it right. You really didn't do it right. You got to put the pit bull. You got to put some massive into it. You got to. You have to do that. That's was the original foundation of the old English bulldoggy. Come on, be let's be real, man. Let's be real about this. Let's stop. Stop this um playing the finger. But I'm talking about the breed. If you hate me, that's more power to you. I'll still love you no matter what. I'm doing something different for now on. And you're gonna still you're gonna hear my voice about this. Yes, you're gonna hear my voice about this. Yeah, I know. I used to get pointed at this all on the internet. I'm this, I'm that. But it's not true. Never was, never will be. Full of shit. And these animal rights people is full of crap. I ain't mean to curse on, you know, YouTube, but, you know, that's me. Take it or leave it. But, you know... For the people that got these big English bulldog crosses, keep on doing what you're doing. But 
Don't call your dog a old English bulldoggy because you don't have a old English bulldoggies. You don't. You have a healthy English bulldog. You could call it that. You could call it, um, I say, um, huge bulldog, something like that. <laughs> I wouldn't call it an old English bulldoggy because you don't have it. Plain and simple. Let's be real about it. You do not have an old English bulldoggy. And that's bottom of line. Yo, these people that, that top of the line, so called, this website, I O E B A, <laughs> that's a that's a mutt registry. You you can tell you can say I'm hating, but I'm not hating. More power to you. I'm not hating. I'm just keeping it a hundred, and people got to keep it a hundred. Got to keep it a hundred in this world. You got to. You got to keep it a hundred. One hundred. Stop lying to bias. Stop lying to the world. Stop lying to these BSL people. We understand. I know. And you know, like 20 more people knows and more people knows that you're crossing these dogs. You're crossing them. Keep it real. <laughs> Keep it real. Tell these people, yeah, I crossed this dog, but this is what I'm selling. I'm selling a healthy type of English bulldog to the better breathing, better thing. But it's not an old English bulldoggy. An old English bulldoggy don't have a stump tail like an AKC English bulldog. Or scrooge tail or kink tail, a little long kink tail. That's not an oldie. That's a fault into the breed, the breed standard. When you have a standard that was set before the I O E B A and the U B A and the, the um O B B A, come on, man, come on. This is America. Yo, I'm not hating on Canadian people, but yo, stop giving your money to Canadians. Give your money to American registry, a real registry that helps helps. To fight these BSL, these other animals' rights people trying to take your human rights. They trying to take your human rights away from you. These people do not write to these lawmakers. They just getting in the money. Oh, let me register this dog. I don't care what it is. They do not look at the standard. They don't have a board meeting about the standard of this dog is right. They don't have a board meeting. They just register, 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 register. They don't not, They want more people to register because there's money in their pockets. But the OIBA is a great registry, and I'm registered with them. Great registry. More power to y'all. Keep doing what you're doing. Y'all have a nice day, and I'm out.